Well, a new hominid was found in northeast China that is uh, really exciting all of the evolution scientists. And uh, this new skull was actually stored in the bottom of a well for a very long time. It was found in 1933 during the Japanese uh, occupation of China. So they were afraid that they would not be able to uh, keep it or that the Japanese would take it. So they hid it in a well and it's been there ever since. And it has just recently come to the attention of the uh, Chinese scientists. Well, the new amazing find is called Dragon Man and his scientific name is Homo Longi. So let's take a good scientific look at Dragon Man and see if he really is a precursor to humans. Well, here's an artist's rendering of Dragon Man that appeared in the Smithsonian Magazine. Here's another artist's rendering of the uh, hominid that appeared in National Geographic. So later on in this video, we'll take a real good look. Are these good models? Are these accurately drawn? That's pretty important, and that's what we'll take a look at. Dragon Man is such a critically important uh, hominid, and uh, National Geographic put this timeline in their article on Dragon Man, and uh, if you take a look, Dragon Man or Homo Longi is right before humans, so supposedly they evolved into us. Okay, so first let's take a look at uh, the skull of Homo Longi and uh, see if it's an ape skull, or is it a human skull, or is it something that it's a precursor to humans. Okay, so here on the left is Dragon Man, and on the right is a chimpanzee skull. Now take a look at their brow ridges. Actually, Dragon Man has larger brow ridges than uh, the chimpanzee. So I would say if we go by the score of the brow ridges, uh, Dragon Man is, is an ape. Okay, here's a human skull. Notice there are absolutely no brow ridges at all. Okay, next let's take a look at the craniums of the dragon man and chimpanzee. Both are flat and small and they terminate inside the orbit of the eye. And because of that, these are characteristics of apes, not man. Now here's a human skull and look how massive it is compared to the ape and the uh, dragon man skull and it terminates well outside of the orbit of the eye. Both Dragon Man and the chimpanzee are identical in that they, uh, neither of them have a vertical forehead whatsoever. The foreheads tip way back. Now take a look at the human skull. It's got a very huge vertical forehead and that houses the human prefrontal cortex, which neither the ape or Dragon Man have. Now here's an x-ray of a human brain and a chimp brain. You can see how the human brain has a huge prefrontal cortex that the chimp does not have. Okay, let's take a proportioned human brain and see how it fits inside the cranium of Dragon Man. Okay, here it is overlaid over the cranium and you can see that the brain is much larger than Dragon Man's cranium. Okay, I took the sliver of the top of the cranium and I overlaid it over the brain just so you can see that the brain is at least 30% larger than uh, Dragon Man's cranium. Okay, for this unbelievable transformation to, from hominid brain to human brain to happen over 147,000 years, on average, evolution had to create 200,000 neurons per year, 2 billion dendrite connections, which are the connections between each neuron, and 5.5 and feet of blood vessels, and a whole lot of other things, too. So, is it possible that evolution is uh, that brilliant that every year it could create uh, these unbelievable changes? And of course these numbers completely ignore a lot of the other things that need to change like the size of the cranium, amount of intelligence and consciousness, so many things. Okay, on the right here is Homo habilis, which uh, first appeared 2.3 million years ago, and Dragon Man from 147,000 years ago. So how much evolution has taken place in over two million years? Uh, none. They look almost identical. Both Dragon Man and the Chimp have 45 degree protruded jaws, something you never see on a human. Okay, take a look at the human jaw. It's flat. It's straight up and down. No protrusion at all. Okay, the eyes of ape skulls 
are uh, a third to a quarter of the way from the top of the skull. They're not in the middle. Okay, with humans, in the human skull, the eyes are exactly in the middle from top to bottom of the human skull. Okay, now let's take a critical look at the artist's rendering of uh, Dragon Man. The artist gave Dragon Man human hair, also a human beard, and only humans have a beard like that. No animal has a beard other than humans. Oh, and they gave him human skin. No animal on Earth has skin like humans. And oh, they also gave him eyebrows, which are not too common on animals either. The only species on Earth that shows the white of the eye, or 50% of the white of the eye, when looking straight forward is humans. Virtually all animals looking straight forward do not show any of the white of their eye. Humans do. Take a look at the ape on the left, which that is the ape eyes, and I've placed human eyes showing 50% of the sclera on the right. Which of these two animals looks more intelligent? And which of the two eye types do you suppose that the artists gave their uh, renderings? Well, shock of shock, it looks like uh, they gave him human eyes. Now, the skull says this is nothing but an ape, but no matter, the artist took complete artistic license and made this guy look like a human so people would actually think that this is a human precursor. It is nothing but an ape. What's really fun is the artist put an arrowhead in uh, Dragon Man's hand as if he was intelligent enough to chop up arrows out of stone. Well, I made my own rendering of Dragon Man, and if you take a look at it, uh, you can be absolutely certain that all this guy is is an old ape. That's it. Nothing exciting. Okay, on the left is my rendering, on the right is the skull, and you can see using these lines that all the characteristics of the skull line up perfectly with the ape. Okay, here's what the rendering should look like. This should be what Dragon Man looks like. An ape, because that's all he is, just an ape. Okay, here's a rose gallery of the most famous hominids, and if you take a look, every one of them has large brow ridges. They have tiny craniums that terminate inside the orbit of the eye. Uh, these guys are all apes, and um, they're not hominids or precursors to humans. Notice that they all have tiny craniums, and there is no sign of the craniums evolving or growing into human-type craniums. The artist also gave uh, Dragon Man's body most incredible abs ever, huge muscles, human skin, a human body, and also a very nice stylish pair of trunks. So this is uh, just more artistic license that is uh, really dishonest. It's simply amazing the stuff these artists make up from just a half a skull, clothing, muscles, skin, eyes, everything, all made up. Okay, so what's the verdict here? Is Dragon Man a human precursor or is he just an ape? Just another evolutionary fraud. And the verdict is... If you're interested in the subject and you would like more information, be sure and buy my fabulous book, Evil Illusion of Man for sale on Amazon.